which expression is equivalent to this expression here, where m, q, and z are positive. So we have this giant expression, m to the fourth, q to the fourth, z to the negative one, times m times q to the fifth, times z to the third. Okay, so this is just a rules of exponents problem. And one of the rules of exponents is that when you're multiplying, say, x, that's raised to the power a, with another x, but this one is raised to the power b, as long as the base is the same, which is the thing being raised to the power, so in this case the base is x for both of these, when you multiply these two together, you keep the base the same and add the exponents. So here x to the a times x to the b is equal to x to the a plus b. So if we had numbers, this would look like, you say you had 2 raised to the third times 2 raised to the 2. So when you multiply these together, you keep the base the same and add the exponents. So 3 plus 2, which is just 2 raised to the fifth. So that's how you multiply exponents together, or bases raised to a power, when the bases are the same. So we'll do the same thing here. And we'll just look at which ones have the same bases and add their exponents. So you'll notice that this m here, it, there was no number up here, like an exponent, like the others, which means that its exponent is actually just 1. And anything raised to the first power is just itself. So m raised to the 1 is just equal to m. All right. So let's get rid of all this here so we can actually solve the problem. So we have an m to the fourth, and then we have an m raised to the first here. So since they have the same base, we can just multiply them. So then this will just become m to the fifth. Okay, and then we have a q to the fourth and a q to the fifth. They have the same base, so we'll keep the base and add the exponents. 4 plus 5 is 9. Then we have a z over here and a z cubed here. So we'll keep this base the same and add the exponents. So negative 1 plus 3 is equal to 2. It's the same as 3 minus 1. Okay. So our final answer is m to the 5th, q raised to the ninth, and z squared. We were able to just multiply these together since multiplication is commutative. And these bases are the same, so we can add the exponents. And the only answer choice that has this expression we just derived is answer choice B. So answer choice B is the correct answer.